So back in the winter, we talked about Amsinchia with its scorpioid syme. So this is the characteristic trait of pretty much all the Baraginaceae plants. So you see how the flower head kind of unfurls like that. And the flowers mature from the outside in. So you can see in the middle there is where the new flowers emerge out and it just kind of unfurls. I think they also called that a, a helicoid syme. Anyway, the Baraginaceae is a very, very attractive family of plants for all kinds of bees and things. This is Phacelia heterophylla. Back in the winter time, it was just this little basal rosette that probably looked like, you know, a dandelion. But now there's just these gigantic peduncles, I guess. Don't know the exact term for these, but they're quite huge. Like that one's, that one's probably, it's almost as tall as I am. You can see the flower starts way down there. And so this whole stalk is just covered in these little, little helicoid curls and unfurl with the, the flowers. And the whole thing's covered in fuzz, covered in little hairs. Even those prominent anthers that poke out, which are probably what's making it so attractive to the bees, even they've got hairs on them. How about that? So this family of plants was once much more common until uh, people started ripping them out, probably because they not all look very weedy, but some aren't the most, you, what you might consider ornamental, but to the bees, these are, these are like the, these are the best. I mean, they just go crazy for these. Bumblebees, these, they really like them, and the lupins, they like both of them. The lupins you can still find around. This uh, Lupinus rivularis, somewhat common still. What about all that Cisrinchium? Going crazy. A little bit of Colinsia. But yeah, the Boragis, Boraginaceae. It's its name from the uh, European Borage plant. But it's a pretty widespread family across the west coast of the United States in a lot of places. Here's another barrage. They call it popcorn flower. Plagiobothrys, Nothofulvis, I think. Yeah, it's on the tag. The, the tags are on these. They're in the pot still. Anyway, another uh, scorpioid syme. See the flowers emerging from that helical coil. Another one that used to be pretty common, and this this you really only see on restoration sites now. It's gotten pretty rare. 
We'll see if these self-seed pretty good. Always looking for the once common native plants that you don't see around just to see if they will self-seed. Yeah, Baraginaceae.